So what really happened between you and Bryce? This again. Okay. I saw Bryce out. We talked about my meditation videos. I gave him a hug and that was it. Hmm. Really? Because Ryder really have a lot to say about it. Okay. Let me just, let me call Bryce. Let's just kill these rumors now because... Yeah. The way Ryder made it seem is that there's something going on. Ryder doesn't know me. And we're going to dispel that rumor now. Hello. Hey Bryce, it's Jonas. How are you? I'm well. Um, just a quick question for you. Do you recall that time that I saw you out and we spoke about my meditation videos and how they were helping you? Yeah, that's when we were hugging and kissing on each other. I remember that shit. Okay, bye Bryce. Right. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um. Oh. Oh. Bryce, Bryce is clearly joking. I, I, I'm not sure. But that didn't sound like a joke to me. <laughs> Can we cut this, please? Oh. Can we just cut that, that, that period? Sure will. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. No problem. All right. Can you explain how did this fight go from Jonas having it out with Ryder and you, Harlem, jumping to his defense? Like, what? You want this or you want me to do it? Well, I think that... I think the main piece of it is the fact that Tatum allowed someone outside of the circle to, in a sense, infiltrate and create drama within unnecessarily. There was a way that he could have come at me with that question. She's um, a drama queen. That's, that's what it is. She waited. She waited to the party to bring this up. She could have came to you personally before this, but the fact that she brought it up to the at the party in front of everybody, the same way she did last season with me and Maxwell. Agreed. Girl, the, that it caused the fight. Hey, she came to you personally. Hey, Jonas, this is what I heard from such and such. What's up with that? And it but wasn't you brought just, it up and then she was going to hunt it with it. It was, exactly. It wasn't just the question. It was the manner in which it was brought to me. So um, I don't think that the intent was to fight, but I think that... Yeah, that wasn't the intent and, by far. You know, especially with being the, the one that fought. <laughs> and then, it wasn't the intent at all. At the end of the day, what happened was when... All of that happened, and Ryder, you know, got to doing or drive or whatever the bitch name is, got to doing whatever she did in defense of Jonas because we've already begun to, to de develop a bond. We're about to go to DC together, you know. Yeah. So for this bitch to come in and, and shake shit up the way that she did, you're not about to play with my girl like that. So hence why I stepped in. You pulled me back, and then Maxwell walked in. Yeah, you know. It, it, the bottom line is, it happened because Tatum. As everything, always. yeah, everything's back. The drama back every season. Thank you, Tatum. Yeah, so she said what she said. Granted, granted, yes, I invited Bryce to the reunion, and it is what it is at this point because she's fucked me over. And as I said at the party, this for the, for the second time, you fucked me over. So now I'm coming after your ass, and whatever happens, happens, and it happened. So I, do I have do I hold any regrets about it? No, not at all. Well, you do know that he regrets. That's not my fault. What he that's not my fault. About that's not my fault. Not one bit. Allegedly, is that the word we're going to use? He allegedly. Feel bad. Have you feel, heard? Feels have you bad heard? about it. Have you heard? I haven't heard it. I give. I like. I give not one fuck about Tatum going forward. But. Um, the night of Tatum's housewarming party. Mm. Let Let's talk about the party. It got warm, didn't it? I mean, that was a bit much. You right. Um. So let's start with Thunder and Maxwell. I can just imagine how that made you feel. Yeah, that there was a lot. Um, and as, you, as we see on the camera, I was going to go confront it. But Tatum interrupted with his mouth, as usual. Um, but to see Thunder and Maxwell... First of all, to see Maxwell there in, at the party in general fucked me up. Because it, you, had, you don't run with our circle, so why are you here? How the fuck did they get introduced? But then when Tatum wanted to open her mouth, oh, that's when all hell went, went left. Because I just felt like... Twice? You fucked me over twice with this man? Mm. So, to see Maxwell kissing Thunder, now granted, Thunder didn't really meet Maxwell like that, you know? So for them, I can't blame Thunder at the same time I'm confused and fucked up about it. As, it, as anyone would. Somebody that you were with. Whether you fucked up or not. But your ex moved on. He did. 
you know, he did. And it's to the point where I was getting ready to move to D.C. So, just to see it. And mind you, Maxwell had put me out. I haven't seen him talk to Maxwell in weeks. So, the, right before I'm getting ready to go to D.C., him to walk in a room with, with somebody I'm considering a friend, kind of? And they're interlocking as deep as they were? Oh, I was going to go approach it. It's that simple. But it never happened. So, how do you feel about Tatum? <laughs> you really want me to answer that question about that bitch? Because again, I feel as if she's a fucked up individual. But you invited his ex to the reunion. Oh, well girl, look at what she did in season one. Look at, look at what happened in season one. You all wanted me to come and be a part of this show. I came and I'm still here. But for that to happen, that intimate moment, and Tatum again knew that how much I loved Maxwell and wanted to be with him. Now granted I fucked up and then I did what I did with the student. But, but you did that. And I did, and I owned it. But for Tatum to fuck up and blurt that out at that party, I would never. I would have never done those If there was him and Bryce, I would never. I would never. So the fact that it happened, strike one. Strike two came in when the bitch came and her mama said, oh yeah, that was me. Oh, so you want to fuck me twice? Mm -mm. And she got what she got. And she lucky that's all that she got. Wow. Anybody got anything else? What's up? Because... I dragged her ass, and that's the, that's what that's what that was. It is what it is. In her house. House warming. Yup, and it got warm. Don't invite me to no more with that bitch. I tell y'all that. Y'all want to save y'all setting y'all equipment. Don't invite me nowhere else with that bitch. Do you, do you feel good that you're moving away? Oh, very very much so because I'm away from it. I got told I got told Jonas I have nothing here. Maxwell is no longer here with me. My jobs are gone. What am I here for? I'm happy that I'm leaving. Getting away from all this craziness, all this mess. Starting fresh. And I'm about to slay in DC. So watch me work. Don't judge this king's choices. We don't understand my reasons. I lost it all in most counting me out. However, this king didn't fold. Now watch me adjust my crown. Wait, what's the tagline? Oh, I'm getting a crown. Oh, shit. Practice is over. Now? It's game time for this king. In the game of chess, there's one king and many pawns. Namaste, bitches. I mean, girl, it's no shame. But this season, I'm the king who's paid. Watch mother now. made the right decision to leave like all bullshit aside do you think we made the right decision to just up and leave ATL everything happens for a reason there's an alignment that happens within our lives that leads us to where we need to be we're here because we're supposed to be here well Jojo that kind of felt empowering but bitch I know you you tend to say shit you don't mean just to shut me up Harlem I meant what I said we're here because we're supposed to be here I just feel like I'm low-key running away from everything all at the same time. I mean, I felt defeated in Atlanta. I lost everything. And bitch, that fight with Tatum? That oh, fight? Baby came completely out of my soul. I mean, you went all the way in. I mean, he got some licks in, but you went for broke, like, all the way. Look, so that's his name. JoJo. Okay. Wait till I stop this car. I'm gonna see if I can talk to him. Maybe, you know, get his number. We'll see how this goes. Look, I just took all my frustration out on that bitch, but she got what she deserved. Did I? Was it that bad? I, it was bad, bad friend. And then I'm always like, where does the friendship go now? Fuck like, her. That's where the friendship go. I don't like her. No, you fucked me over twice. You ruined my proposal to Maxwell. You introduced Maxwell to Thunder. Like, how does that, how is that a friend? No. I agree with you. Wait, what the hell is 
up with this damn weather. It has snow, rain, it's been hot. I, it's too much. I should have just went elsewhere. But I'm going to be open to this little DC experience, I guess. On top of, what's up with this creepy ass Uber driver? Like, all in the, in the mirror looking at Jonas and something. I don't like that. I don't like it. I'm not getting good vibes from DC yet. Mm -hmm. Did you tell Maximum that you came here? Nope. So. For what? He don't want no more to do with me, so what am I telling him for? I gotta move on. I, okay. I miss him, I love him, but that's, you no. Know, I tried. You told me I was fighting a the loss yeah. yeah. Yes. 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 Yes, I got my test results back and it's not looking too good. Oh no, Olivia, have you told Tatum? I really need for you to reach out to your son. That's my only request. No. You two are gonna have to get it together. He's gonna need you. That's the only thing I'm asking for you to do. He's gonna need your support. I've tried, you know, I've wanted to for years. Yeah, you know, every time I reach out, you know, he ignores me. You know how I feel about rejection. My only concern right now is you. How are you doing? Actually, I'm not feeling that good. I'm kind of tired. Is there anything I can do? My only request is that you reach out to your son. Please. Thank you. Oh, this is cold. I don't like it. I don't think. Hello. New beginnings. Look, the air is different here. I feel lighter already. Mm. <sighs> Spray is amongst us. And look, God's glitter. This is a sign. God's glitter, girl. No, this is more like the whole thing. Uh uh. I am excited. I'm excited about all the possibilities. It's a part of the bill by your friend. Oh, this is a sign, friend. Is it? Thank you so much. It's just tired, is what it is. I'm cold. I don't like it. I Thank mean, you. it's different. Yeah, you're this is fun. That's all, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Um, Jojo. Oop. Yes. <laughs> we doing that? I mean, I heard your boy refer to you as Jojo. Can I talk to you for a second? Well, my friends call me Jojo, but most call me Jonas. Girl, I'm going to get us checked in the Airbnb. You check that. Check it, girl. Well, I'm Zion, and I couldn't help overhear your conversation. Are you new to the area? Well, if you overheard our conversation, then you know that I'm new to the area. <laughs> You're funny. Well, you know, I'm from here, so I would love to show you around sometime. Oh, an Uber driver and a tour guide? That's impressive. <laughs> touche, touche. There you go, making jokes. <laughs> Attractive, I mean, intriguing. So what's up? Can I get your number? Um, no. Oh, damn, there you go, Zion. You moving too fast. But I will take yours. Oh, okay. There you go. Thank you so much. Nice and meeting you. I'll reach out to you soon. All right. All right. Babe, hmm. I have a question. I have an answer. Are you still in love with Bryce? Love him, yeah, in love with him now. I fell in love with him after the holiday party. Yeah, I know how that process goes. Nah, I'm just asking because, I mean, you and I are spending a lot of time together and getting very close. And I would hate to wake up one morning and you talking about leaving me for that nigga. Um, I would never. Are you sure? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Hmm. So, why did you get so upset when you thought him and Jonas were fucking around? Because Jonas and I were once friends. And friends or ex-friends should not fuck their friends or ex-friends' exes. Duh. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. I mean, I just want to make sure that you and I are solid. Solid as a rock, baby. It just fucked up about Harlem with Vite Bryce. No, and I don't fuck with him like that. Now, what was fucked up was that fight. I don't want to talk about it. Um, okay. But you did do him dirty. I did, but... But even though it wasn't intentional, you have to realize your outburst cost him his career and it cost him his relationship with Maxwell. Oh, if I had one regret in life, it would be that. I wish I could take it back. Anyway, speaking of Maxwell, did you really hook him and Thunder up? Why does it bother you that Thunder's moved on? Wow, Tatum. Yeah, okay. Instead of six, let's call this three degrees of separation. 
I no longer wanted Thunder. Thunder no longer wanted Tatum. And now Tatum and I have ended up together. It's cool. I'm really here for the ride. However, I'm not too sure. Because as we were lying there and I'm talking to him about his ex, he said he's over him, but I really don't think so. Because if so, he would not have gotten as upset as he did when we were talking about Jonas. Hmm. I'm just going to wait and ride this one out. What? You asked me about Bryce and I can't ask you about Thunder? I mean, come on, man. Bryce is your ex. Thunder is my fuck friend. Those are two different things, man. I don't mind if Thunder moves on. Okay, and no, I did not hook them two up to date. I hooked them up so Maxwell will get training from Thunder. What they did and what happened with them is just a shock to me as it is to everybody else. Okay, babe. Okay. Okay, yeah, that works. Okay, but so I'll check with him and I get back with you. Um, I can't wait to see you and thank you so much. All right, well, bye. So that was Ulysses, and this is just so perfect. So he said he has a friend that has two properties. They're both fully furnished and they're ready to move in next week. So we'll only be in the Airbnb for less time than we thought. That is amazing. I hope you know these places have any bad juju. Girl, all you told them how you are, the neighborhood is a decent one. So we're good. Good, good, good. Well, I'm definitely still going to use my own stage throughout. Can you, you stage know. mine too, please? Absolutely. You have to ward off the bad energy. Get that Atlanta shit above us. Okay. <laughs> so did he talk to you about the job? Like, I've been with Sherry next week. So I get the keys to the yoga meditation studio. So I'm super, super excited about that. All right, that's what's up. Yeah. So... When I talked to him, he said that he has an opening to be his assistant. Wait, what? Yeah, and he also has a friend that's working on a documentary about men and their many lifestyles, and he too is looking for someone to assist. Okay, Harlem, um, I thought he was going to find you a job in your field. Like, neither of those is education. Wow, uh, Jonas, of all people, I would think... No, no, wait, you... now, I'm not saying anything that, like, negative. I'm just saying, like, that doesn't make any sense. Look, I gotta do what I gotta do. All of this has been a minor setback, and I and I own it. But I'm about to bounce back even harder. I left Atlanta because I didn't have anything. I mean, I have a little left in my savings, but to be honest, that's just this is just something to keep the money flowing. Okay, I got you. I understand. I guess if I need money, I do what I need to do. So I understand. I support you. Oh well, I'm glad you said you support because I might get you to step in and help you listen while I work on this film project. It's going to be more time consuming and it's more point. So. So you want me to assist the pastor? I'm Come just on. getting into my own oh, studio. Please, just for a little bit. It's not going to be long. Okay, let me get into the studio. Let me figure out how that flows, and then I'll let you know. Does that, that work? That works. Thank you. Okay. I can't wait for you to meet you. I'm just excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. I'm excited to meet him. So, I don't know how excited I am to meet Ulysses. I feel like he got my friend out here to do work for him. And I don't know if that sits well with me. We'll definitely see how this plays out. Tell me about this film. Like, what is it about? I gotta get more information about it, honestly. But it's honestly about men and their many different lifestyles. Ulysses said that he would do it, so that's that. And then my friend Denim said that he would do it. He's a stripper, so this His name be, is Denim? Yes. Okay. Like, like, like Denim. He's, okay. He's a stripper, so this should be a bit interesting. Wait, so you have a friend that is a preacher and a friend that's a stripper and they're going to do a documentary? That's cute. Interesting. And a yoga instructor. Oh, I'm sorry? And a yoga instructor. Uh, uh, I get in front of the camera for my on, job. Come on, please. Harlem, I have a lot going on already. Anybody like, who sits in front of the camera gets paid and the coin is cute. Okay, but don't you have other friends? Like, you're, you know these people around here. Yes, I do. I don't want them, but I want you. Okay, again, I'll think about it. Thank I'll you. definitely let you know. And we gotta find somewhere to go tonight because I got, look, girl, I'm single, I have no more man, and I'm in the of the city, girl, and we gotta figure out our stuff. No, that would give me a reason to see that, and so I can see if he has a reason to keep Oh, bye, 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 bye. Uber driver. So, are you gonna talk to me today, or am I still getting the silent treatment? Hello? Jarvis. Come on, Jarvis. How many times do I have to tell you I'm not ashamed of you? No more. What? You don't have to tell me anymore. I believe you. You do? I sure do. Whew, good. Because that side of treatment is getting old. Now come here and give me a pitch. No way. I didn't say I was going to make it that easy for you. So, this stuff with Jarvis is getting really old. I understand that in marriage, it's for better or worse. 
But sometimes that worse can weigh you down. And Jarvis and his childish ways is getting to be the absolute worst. I can't take it. And he's trying to change my mindset and my, my drive about my grand opening. I'm not going to let that happen. Because when it's all said and done, I got to have me. Oh, really? So that's what we're doing. Babe, come on. You know what? I can respect that. I have been looking like a jerk in your eyes. So I'll take it. Just know, I love you to the moon and back. You love me to the moon? Honestly, I think your ass is stuck up in the galaxy somewhere. Wow. It's just my feelings. Well, anyway, I'm excited about my grand opening. Oh. Mm. Yeah, the grand opening. The one you have been working all these long hours. So many that you haven't even been able to ask me how I've been doing. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited about that too, boo. Please don't start. I work hard for this, and I won't allow you to take my joy. I ain't trying to do that. But I will say this. Maybe, just maybe, if you had included me, I would be able to help you. You don't have to be so tired. You know what? You're right. But I just know how busy your schedule can be. <laughs> When's the last time you checked my damn schedule? Okay. I'm sorry. And you have a point. I can't wait for you to come cut the ribbon with me. What? I get to come cut the ribbon? Are your friends gonna be there too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel special. Mm, mm, mm. Jarvis, are you being cynical? No. I mean, I am truly excited for you, baby. It's a little too late for that, Nigel. I told you you wouldn't answer. Then was a night owl. He know he's sleeping right now. So why would he say he would do it if he knew he wasn't going to? Like, this don't make no sense. See, this is why I hate asking people to help me to do shit. Like, if you don't want to do it, then say that. Stop wasting my fucking time. I could have gone elsewhere and tried to figure out someone else to come and help me. Girl, you not answering the phone. What the fuck? The only thing important to Denim is money. So good luck getting him to do this for you for free. He would get paid, remember? I think it's real crazy how... Harlem's getting upset about Denim. He does know Denim is a stripper. He also knows Denim works long nights. So the dude probably is getting some rest. But see, I'm here. So let's just record me, do what I gotta do. So I'm going about my business. <sighs> anyway, let's go ahead and get started because we're gonna get this place for an hour. I'm ready. So where am I supposed to say here? Um, honestly, you just have to talk about whatever you want to. That's what this documentary is about. Real people and real lives. So, I guess you can just introduce yourself and then start telling me your story. You make it sound so simple. If you're honest, I don't understand why it wouldn't be. I'm a man of God, Harlem. I'm as honest as they come. Honesty starts with you. That's what my grandma used to say. You can't be honest with anybody unless you're honest with yourself first, child. <laughs> I never really knew what she meant by that until I was about 16 or 17. And then I was dealing with this woman saying all the things I thought I was supposed to say. I love you. We text on the phone, hanging out. But I didn't make any of it. And as time went on, it finally hit me. You can't be honest with anybody unless you're honest with yourself first. All right, whenever you're ready. My name is Ulysses. I'm a pastor. Most people know me from church. Wait, stop. Uh, are you sure you want to talk about this? <laughs> Why you stop? You said be honest. Yeah, and you're being a little too honest, honestly. Like, you know you can bring a lot of drama and controversy your way talking about this? I know, but if I don't talk about it, I'm going to wish I had to. Press record. All right, sir. I am sick and tired of arguing with you. One minute you telling me I can see my daughter, and then the next minute you saying no? I was excited when you finally gave in, and now you telling me she's spending a weekend at a friend's house? That's fucked up. I just don't trust you. It's been too long, and I want to see my daughter. I understand I fucked up, but damn, how long ago was that? I apologized, and I said it wouldn't happen again. <laughs> I just need some more time to think about it. 
fuck, Sabrina, you are really starting to piss me off. I'm tired of begging you to see my own seed. Well, let me ask you a question. You still seeing that dude? No, I'm not. Oh. Well, I didn't know that. So would it have really made a difference if I was? A huge difference. Because I don't want that shit around my daughter. You know what? I'm not even going to lie. I am seeing somebody new. But it's not the same one she saw. Oh, so you're seeing another nigga. A consistent one. <laughs> you want a relationship with this one? Dating. You know what? Fuck that! You ain't never gonna be able to see your daughter as long as there's another nigga in the picture. So, mm. so would it have made a difference if it was a woman? I mean... Don't even finish that fucking sentence, Sabrina! Because I already know the answer. <laughs> it don't matter if it was a man or a woman, you still gonna feel some type of way. Mm. You're mad. You mad because it's not you. And I see that shit now. But you know what? Fuck you. Thunder, do not walk away from me. We are not done talking. I'm fucking done. Here we go again with this shit and did him in his fucking disappear act. Like, what the fuck? That is really on my nerves. And then we got Jonas' ass that canceled on me twice. Like, what the hell did I sign up for? Then the door's locked. I know the bitch is here. Did him open this damn door? I don't feel like dealing with them damn faggots today. I need to talk to you. I know you in here. Harlem, you said you've called him. He hasn't answered your calls. He's not answering the door. Maybe he doesn't want to do it. Then why the fuck would he say he would if he didn't want to? I don't oh, this is some straight bullshit. You still on to do documentary for this Thursday, right? Because your ass already canceled twice on me. So what's up? Okay, I canceled for reasons that you said that you understood, if I'm not mistaken. <sighs> Whoa, Harlem, you're channeling that bad energy the wrong way. You're right. I understand. You're not mistaken. I understand this is all a bunch of bullshit. Like, okay, Harlem, your energy is very disrespectful right now. Just calm down. Listen, I got you on the project. As far as denim, just be patient. Maybe wait for him to reach out to you. You're right, though. I'm sorry. I'm just so fucking irritated with him. I don't get people. Like, I don't. Like... Why, why would you commit to do something if you don't, if you're not gonna do it? I, or at least communicate and say, I can't do it. You're not answering the phone to do a shit. Like, this is crazy. Dr. Malik to you. Oh, yeah, that's right, doctor. Well, doctor, I have an ache in my heart, and it needs fixing, and you have the cure. Clark, what the fuck is wrong with you? First of all, this goes against my code of ethics. Our sessions are already moved to virtual. Now I'm gonna have to pass your case on to somebody else. I can't do this. Your behavior is totally unacceptable. Unacceptable? So what will be acceptable behavior? Me fucking a porn star or me fucking one of my dearest friends? What? I just want to be one of your friends, you know? Like Tatum, the okay. one that you fucking. You've gone too fucking far now. Leave me and my friends the fuck alone. This shit has got to end, man. Get the fuck out of here. Sick bitch. <laughs> See you next week, baby. <laughs> so, after all this time to get Denim's ass to actually do this, the bitch want to sit here and play dress the stripper up. Girl, you wasting the shit out of my time right now. Child, I've seen you naked a million times already. I really don't get why you want me to see you strip. Didn't you say this documentary wasn't about you? It's not. All right, so shut the fuck up and make sure you concentrate on getting my good angles, you know? My right cheek was better than my left side, don't you think? Girl, you're so damn desperate for attention. <laughs> you really just want me to see how great your ass looks. <laughs> so you think my ass look great? I don't think it looks anything. Well, of all the words in the world, you decided to call it great. Yeah, and I chose to call you desperate, too. Look, 
I would take desperate as a compliment considering all the things I've been called before. Trust me, I heard worse, way worse. But speaking of desperate, you've been blowing my phone up, so let's get this shit popping. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Hey, you talking about your father, aren't you? No. I'm talking about all my other hoes before I broke up with them for somebody else. How long has it been since you last talked to them? Well, it's been eight years. Five months, three days, I think. Then, um, it's been long enough. You really need to go ahead and face him and, like, talk to him and have a conversation. Do st so, parents, they can be hard on you, you know, growing up and coming into your adulthood. But, I mean, you, can, you can't let that shit stop you. You gotta just lace them fucking bootstraps up and be your own you. Use that as a stepping stone to actually turn into who you are and become a fucking beast. I don't need to face him. I've been running from that man for eight years now. If I wanted to talk to him, don't you think I would have by now? But the longer you run from it, the harder it's going to be to face him. Hell, I didn't take my own advice and do the same with my mother. I'm going to talk to your mother because I ain't talking to that man. Okay, Rudeness, let's just get started because, girl, you, you ready? Ben. So, how's work going? It's been interesting getting acclimated to everything. Um, my studio is definitely my happy place, so I love it there. Now, this pastor assisting thing, it's got my vibrations off just a little bit. I don't know what's going on around the church, but yeah, it's got me feeling a little weird. Why do you make it seem like that's a bad thing? I mean, I won't say that it's a bad thing, but it's a thing, and I just, I can't put my finger on it. And I don't know if I want to put my finger on it. It, it seems like a lot. Okay, let's talk about something else. Well, I've been enjoying getting to know you. Likewise, so you told me you were doing like a website or something? It's an app. Oh, an app? Yeah, it's a dating app, see? Uh, okay, so Zion, why are you doing a dating app if you're dating me? <laughs> Here you go trying to be funny again. No, I'm serious. It's just basically an app that I started way before. Obviously, I met you. Okay. So, you know, I just want to finish what I started. Hell, maybe you come rich off of it. Okay, well, good luck and much success on that. Okay, I sense some type of energy. Um, no, the energy's good. You'll know when it's changed. There's a shift, I'll definitely let you know. Oh, your vibrations, huh? The, the vibrations, I'm glad that you did it. <laughs> so how about vibrating to the, the little concessions to get popcorn and, I don't know, some snacks? Okay, Thank you. So little does he know, this dating app is something I created based off of from my past. So hopefully the energy doesn't shift too much because I definitely don't want that to affect us. I'll be honest, um, Zion doing this app for single guys, it, it does have me feeling away. But I'm not going to get in my feelings about it. This is new beginnings. I'm going to ride this wave until... Seriously, you are being so petty. You just want to sneak peek. What are you talking about? I know what you're working on. Come on, let us see. No, I haven't even got enough footage in to give a sneak peek. It's not even done yet. I'm sure you look fine. Ooh. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's funny? Nothing. <laughs> okay, so I bet Denim, if he asks, you let him see. No, he wouldn't. Unlike you two nosy asses, he actually likes surprises. <laughs> Nosey, nosey, nosey. Word. But you're nosey though, you both are. You both are. You think the gift is? He, he probably got something he ordered online that he don't need. Maybe a gift for one of us? No. Harlem is not buying no gifts for anybody. Especially now, I mean, I don't know. Let me see. Ha ha ha, I didn't order anything. I don't know what the hell this is. It looks like a package. My mother, I know her handwriting anywhere. Is it my father? I don't know what's my father. I don't know my address. And it should be for one of us, maybe. No one knows me. I just want to know what it is. Harlem! Um, what? what? Harlem. What's wrong? Who is that? Who is this? Harlem. Who is this? That's Marco Thompson. He was a friend of mine from back home. Wait, was? Yeah. 
He's dead. I am so sorry. Are you okay? I'm sorry too. By the way you reacted to seeing that photo, I can tell you still dealing with the aftermath of his death. They're right. They're absolutely right. It's kind of hard to work through a death with somebody that you killed. Wait, killed? 